Hi there. Now for this next part of the question, we're asked to show that the lower quartile is 63 degrees. And to do this, what I'm going to do is use linear interpolation. First of all, we need to work out, though, the position of the lower quartile. I'll call the lower quartile Q1, OK? So we've got 60 values, and I need to divide this by 4. We don't have one here or do anything like that. We're dealing with continuous data. So it's just 60 divided by 4, and that's going to be equal to the 15th value then. OK, so we need to locate where that 15th value is going to occur, which class interval. And if we construct a commutative frequency table down here, we've got six students then that measure the angle less than 60 degrees, 21 measure it less than 65 degrees, that's the total of 6 and 15, and you get all the other results carrying on, okay? But we're looking for the 15th value, and that occurs in this second class interval here, okay? We know that we've got 21 students that measured the angle less than 65 degrees, so 15th value is clearly going to be in this interval. Now, as I've said before, when it comes to working out the medians, quartiles, whatever, I prefer to do a graphical approach rather than do the formula, to remember the formula, okay? Uh, I just find it a lot easier. So, with this one, I mark in my class interval, okay? It's going from 60 to 65. Put that in there. And... We've got the frequencies, the commutative frequency up to 60 was 6, and up to 65, that was 21. Now we're looking for Q1, the 15th value, which looking at this is going to be more to the right of centre, OK? So this is Q1, and it's the 15th value. And so we set up a ratio equation, we compare this interval here, the difference between Q1 and 60. So I put Q1 minus 60. And I compare that to the interval below it, which is 15 take away 6. And that ratio will be in exactly the same ratio as the difference between the 65 and the 60. The class width, in other words, 65 take away 60. And we compare that with the difference between 21 and 6. OK, 21 take away 6. So what we've got then is Q1 minus 60, all divided by 9, equals 5 over 13. And so just rearranging this then for Q1, we therefore have Q1 equals 9 times 5 thirteenths and then plus 60. And if you work this out, you get that Q1 equals 63 degrees exactly. Okay.